Science has not buried God, it has revealed him, and with it buried materialism. It remains now only in the fantasy of materialists. So, episode three, it's verdict time. Should we believe random YouTubers when they fervently insist that physicalism stroke materialism is dead? Um, no. <laughs> this just in. Apparently, to the surprise of many, philosophy isn't just lots of fancy words backing up weird opinions. There's actually something you need to know in order to properly call yourself a philosopher. This is the literature. The literature is a selection of the best argumentative writing on a particular uh, philosophical issue by people who are cleverer than we are, better educated than we are, and have more to lose than we do by saying egregiously stupid things in public. As a result, a lack of familiarity with the arguments, both for and against any particular philosophical position, like physicalism, as they are laid out in the literature, constitutes philosophical ignorance, aka not knowing the fuck what you are on about. Intellectual honesty, meanwhile, is, in addition to knowing all the arguments and the criticisms and replies as they stand in the up-to-date literature, is a willingness to present them all accurately. It's a willingness not to omit or distort any relevant information regarding uh, the debate, regardless of personal preference. Thus, to ignore or misrepresent elements of a known debate, for whatever reason, is to be intellectually dishonest, aka a lying bastard. So when we actually unpack the content of this YouTube uh, anti-physicalist bandwagon, what is it that we actually find, whether it's from the usual apologetic subjects or their very interesting atheist fellow travellers? I wear a leather trench coat, I like quoting Nietzsche, and I probably play shreddy guitar very quickly. I am special and different. Yeah. Not unsurprisingly, one tends to find some variation on one of the three criticisms of physicalism that I presented in episode one. Uh, it cannot be proved that the that this consciousness, this qualia, is what the brain does. Primal forms of consciousness must be accepted as intrinsic to the substratum of reality, rather than as a property emerging from an unconscious, dead material. After all, I think my mind actually exists in contrast to the claims of certain mindless zombies who Gary appears to have confused for eminent philosophers. Honest accounts of responses to those criticisms, let alone arguments in favour of physicalism, well, they're a lot thinner on the ground. So what might this lead one to think of these uh, occupants of this bandwagon of anti-physicalism that's uh, rolling across ye old tubes at the moment? Well, taking into account what's already been said, I think one would ha could reasonably deduce that they are, to use the uh, polite language, either philosophically ignorant or intellectually dishonest. Now, I happen to think that if somebody is philosophically ignorant, their opinions about the philosophy don't count for much. And if they're intellectually dishonest, then we should be particularly sceptical about their reasoning. Which is why I would conclude that physicalism remains a plausible position. It is not necessarily false, and it's certainly not dead, despite the best efforts of certain YouTubers to suggest differently. Which I suppose is a roundabout way of saying that each one of these little darlings needs to work that little bit harder on not being an ignorant bastard or a lying cunt. You've just got to love the brevity of the Anglo-Saxon, haven't you? Thank you for listening. <laughs>